An ultrasound fluid is black, bone will be white, and other tissues are shades of gray. This is the patient's bladder and the fetal head is down near the cervix. The position of the fetus doesn't matter at all at this point in time. We often see the fetus completely flip around during the course of the ultrasound. The placenta is on the front side of the uterus. We want to look at that location relative to the cervix. But this early in pregnancy, even if it is low, there's a good chance it'll move higher later in pregnancy. This is the umbilical cord connecting to the placenta. We check to make sure the attachment is normal. When we look closely at the umbilical cord, we'll see two small black circles and one black stripe. Those are the three blood vessels in the cord, which is the correct number to have. We want to look closely at some structures inside the brain. The bright area here is the choroid plexus, the part of the brain that makes spinal fluid. This black area next to it is the collection of spinal fluid in the brain. We measure it to make sure there isn't hydrocephaly or too much fluid in the brain. We also look at this structure in the back of the brain, the cerebellum. It looks like two balls stacked on top of each other. For years, all we did was measure it for growth, but we now know the shape may be changed if a baby has a neural tube defect. So looking at this area helps us detect spina bifida. In this view, we also measure the thickness of the skin at the back of the neck. It can be increased in some chromosome abnormalities like Down syndrome. Here we're looking directly at the face, which looks more like a skull. There just isn't much fat yet on the face. Within the eye socket, you can see something that looks like a bubble. It's the lens of the eye. We also want to look at the lips and nose, which are behind the baby's hand. You can see the nostrils appear black because they fill with amniotic fluid. If there's a gap in the lip, a cleft lip, it also fills with fluid and will appear black, so you don't see the nice gray outline of the upper lip. The profile is good to look at for a couple of reasons. First, it's a pretty image that most people can easily recognize. But more importantly, there are times when the chin is too small, which can potentially cause problems for the baby with breathing in the delivery room. We want to see the nose, the lips, and the chin in a nice straight line. This is the spine. We look at the region of the neck, the middle of the back, and all the way down to the sacrum or tailbone where it comes to a V. These views help us detect spina bifida. You can also see the ribs coming off the back. With the spine up towards us, we can also see some of the big blood vessels in the baby, like the aortic arch, the black candy cane-shaped structure in the chest. The heart is one of the most important organs that we look at during an ultrasound. It appears black because blood inside the fetus is really just another kind of fluid. That allows us to see the four chambers of the heart, the heart valves opening and closing, and the blood vessels leaving the heart. There's a hole here between the right and left sides of the heart. It allows oxygenated blood to take a shortcut from the right side of the heart to the left side and bypass the lungs since oxygen is being provided through the umbilical cord. That hole will close after a baby is born. These colors represent blood flow in the heart and help us to see that both sides of the heart have developed normally and are being filled with blood. The kidneys sit next to the spine and are hard for me to point out to people and show them that they're normal. Here we're looking at a cross-section of the abdomen at the level of the waist. The black dot is the baby's stomach, and it shows up as black because it has fluid in it. The fluid is amniotic fluid, which the baby has swallowed. So seeing it there tells me that the baby is swallowing, which is an activity that should be happening. And since the fluid makes it down into the abdomen after the baby swallows, we know it is unlikely that there is a blockage in the baby's esophagus. Looking further down, we see these little lines. That's where the umbilical cord is actually attaching to the baby's abdomen, so the future side of the belly button. We check to make sure that that part of the abdominal wall has developed normally. And finally, all the way down in the baby's pelvis, we see another black dot, which is the baby's bladder. That tells us that the kidneys, which earlier we saw appear normal, are functioning and producing urine. Here are the baby's legs. They are extended and we see both of them moving. I also want to look at the position of the feet coming off at the ankles and make sure they're nice and straight with no evidence of a club foot. That's where the foot is turned in or out. And finally, these are the bottoms of both feet, like footprints. We're at the end of our head-to-toe look at your baby's ultrasound, and I hope you've learned a little more about what that ultrasound is telling us.